the finite universe as solution to the problems of the universe. What we are within as is a system that's got a beginning and an end, which is wonderful because it means that it is inevitable that you will get from the beginning to the end and that it is inevitable that all things will be known from the beginning to the end and also that all consequences will come to be experienced from the beginning to the end. It is a finite universe. The infinity of it is fascinatingly enough purely the movement of energy between positive and negative which is how the system operates. It operates with a movement through a cycle of infinity that creates the illusion of continuation while in fact it isn't. It is in fact simply an illusion of, the, of something that exists beyond the end, which is a new beginning. But it's exactly the same, as above, so below. So no difference to heaven or earth, you have exactly the same existence. You just return or move between the two, earth being the negative polarity, apparently in heaven, apparently the positive polarity. And so you reincarnate through the same beginning and end cycle, apparently learning lessons, which implies again that you're following a positive line and that you are representing the negative line because you have to go and learn something good, become better, become more enlightened, higher, lighter. It doesn't matter what you what name you give it, they are just dimensions of the same system. No difference. A finite universe, why is it existing? It exists because within the equality equation, the realization of responsibility was not clear and therefore you are now in a system which will produce you as a responsible being and make things tougher and tougher until it gets so tough that you realize you should take responsibility. You should love your neighbor and you should give what you want to receive. You know, it's just teaching you the basic lessons of being a god. The moment you're pretty fucked because you're in a finite creation. You live and you die. And apparently you can't remember where you come from. It's very convenient. It's just as convenient as the total money system we have can't remember that they create products that are made to break. So you are sold a new watch with a warranty. What is the word warranty? It's the word war. May, waging war because in the warranty it says it will not last, it will break, but we'll still take your money. We know we can make it better, but we will not because we need to make more money. So there is an economic war going on, which is in the disguise of a warranty, part of this finite cycle. We need a complete radical redefinition of everything that is existent to bring about a reality that's best for all. Join us in this quest with the steps that is already being planned, which is equal money, equal life. A political dispensation where all life is honored and taken care of, and the system in the world is like a heaven on earth. Yes, you can do it if you really care. If you obviously profess that you believe in a heaven on earth and you are not with us, then you are obviously deceiving yourself and attempting to deceive us. We are not interested. We will simply ignore you just like God would ignore you when you die. There will be nothing, no one, not a you, an end. Because this is a finite universe. There is a beginning and there is an end. And just as you can't remember your beginning and how you became who you are now, 
No one will remember your end, and you will end up as a cross on the ground. Here lies the late John Doe. Yes, you were lying and you were late. You never realize what is real.